Pause here. The mega menu is a key feature offered by GrowFast team. In this video, I will show you how easy to set up and build mega menu you want using the GrowFast team. The first thing we are going to do is to build mega menu with a similar one previewed on the GrowFast team website. From there, we will create another mega menu. Let's go ahead and jump into the HubSpot CMC. The first step is to open home template within the page editor. Guys, we have no navigation in the header right here now. So, we first need to create a menu for our navigation. I click right here on the global header editor. Alright, here is our header module. Let's click on the module to open all module settings. I will click on the primary menu right here. And here we can select or create a new menu. Let's click on this create new button. For this example, I will call my new navigation mega menu. Alright. And I will click on create right here. Alright, we have to add some menu items to our navigation. For this video, I will use menu items without links. Let's create first one. I will click on add menu item. And I will click on this action button right here to make the item without a link. Here in the menu item label field, I will tape home. Perfect. Now let's me clone this menu item three times. This menu item will be Mega Menu A. Alright. And this one will be Mega Menu B. And this last menu item will be Contact, just for an example. Alright, here's our navigation menu. So, guys, what do we need to do now? We need to activate our Mega Menu drop down for specific menu item and wrap the menu item label with a span HTML tag and specific CSS class. Don't worry, guys, you don't need any coding knowledge or experience to do this. Adding the code lets navigation know which mega menus to pull when someone hovers over a certain menu item. So what I'm going to do is wrap this label with a span tag. Alright. Next I will add CSS class mega menu. Right here I will tape class equal double quarter mega dash menu dash one. Perfect. This span HTML tag with a mega menu class is a trigger that will pull out the appropriate mega menu we need. Alright, let's do the same for mega menu B. Now I will wrap the label with a span HTML tag, but I'm going to use the CSS class mega menu 2 for this item. Alright, once we have done that, let's go ahead to the next step. Guys, when you create a new navigation menu, don't forget to click on this publish button right here to publish it. One more thing, guys, let's say you want to create three or four mega menus for your navigation. You have to do the same for your third and fourth mega menu. You must wrap the menu labels with a span HTML tag and use CSS class mega menu 3 for the third mega menu and mega menu 4 for the fourth mega menu. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Let me close this advanced menu tab and let's come back to our global header editor. Here is our selected mega menu navigation. Let's scroll down and I click on this button to apply all changes. All right, here's our navigation. Home, Mega Menu A, Mega Menu B, and Contact. Let's return to the header model settings. Let's scroll down, and here we need to activate the Mega Menu using this toggle. It is activated right here. Here are all settings for our Mega Menu. Click here to open them up. Here are the settings for the Mega Menu font, hover color, and header font. We can also set the Mega Menu width by selecting between header width or full width. Let's click on this pencil icon to open all settings for our existing mega menu. All right, guys, here are mega menu settings. I will change mega menu name to mega menu one. You can name it whatever you like. Here we can choose how many columns we want to display. I will leave it on three columns for now. And here we have different layouts for those columns. I will keep this columns layout with these three equal columns. All right. And here we have settings for each column, column one, column two, and column three. Let's open column one. Here we have rich text, which we can use for any HTML or text content as well as images. Here we can create a menu specific for this column made from menu items. Here are options for the top margin of the menu where we can set the margin between the menu and rich text content. And here is a toggle. By enabling this toggle, we can apply the heading styles for the top level of the menu we create. And here, there is also a great option to enable any HubSpot form we want in the column. 
This can be the content form or any subscription form. So guys, what we are going to do, let's return to our preview website. All right, we will recreate this mega menu from the website. Here we have the text content created with rich text. And here we have a navigation menu created with a column menu. I will copy this content to save time. And let's return to the header model settings. Here is a rich text for this column. I will paste the content I just copied right here. If we click on this advanced button right here, we can see our source code. All right, now let's create the menu. I will click on this create menu button and let's add some menu items. For the menu label, I will use why choose grow fast. Right here, I will select URL link and the paste the URL of my website for this example. Now, let me clone this menu item two times. Perfect. Next, I will change other menu item labels for those items. Here will be video tutorials and here I will write start your 30 day trial. Now let's click on publish to see all changes. And let's click on this button. Let's go to the preview page to see the result. Here is our menu, but it looks different from example. There is no spacing right here and the menu items looks different. Let's return to module settings to fix it. Let's click on the global header to return to the header module settings. Okay. And let me open the module settings now. All right, first, let's fix the menu items. I click on Mega Menu Settings and let's edit our Mega Menu. I will come back to column one and let's scroll down and find the previously created menu. We need to drag and drop those two items on the second menu level to reduce the spacing between the items. All right, let's create some spacing between the rich text and navigation menu. I will add 16 pixels to the menu margin and let's see the result. I open the preview in a new window all right, and let's see the changes. The column contact looks nice, but our link color is black. Now let's return to the model settings and build the other two columns. Let me open column to settings and we need to add the title to the rich text section. I will take do you need help and let me apply heading styles right here. And let's build a menu. I will click on create menu right here. Let's add some items once again all right let's set the url link here i will select url link and paste the url of my website once again for this menu label i will use customer service let me clone this menu item two times perfect this one will be support center and this one will be documentation we need to drag and drop those two items to the second menu level all right, let's clone this first level of the menu. And here I will remove one of these items uh, and replace the label on the menu items. This will be contact us and this will be pre-sale questions. For this second column, let's activate menu header to apply heading styles to the top level of the, this menu. And let's also set 16 pixels top margin. Perfect. I click on the preview right here to see the results. Here's our website and here's our second column. Guys, do you see that we have now heading styles for our top level menu items right here? Perfect, let's return to our mega menu settings and add an image to the third column. Here's our third column. Let's add an image to the rich text. I will click on this icon to upload the image. I will drag and drop the image from my desktop to this section and I will click on it to select it. Perfect, here's our image in the rich text section. Guys, one more thing. When you add your image, you most likely, you will have an empty paragraph right here, you see? Let me show you, let's activate block right here. Here's an empty paragraph. We don't need this empty paragraph because it will create a space in our mega menu after the image. Let's remove it quickly. All right, the mega menu is ready. But before we publish it, let's change some font styles to make it similar to the preview mega menu on our website. Let's change the font color to this orange one. And I will also increase the font size to the 19 pixels. And here I will increase the menu header font to 18 pixels. Perfect. Let's save our changes. I will click publish right here. All right, let me to close this notice. 
And let's click on the preview button to see the result. Perfect, here is our website. Nice, mega menu now has a, an image right here and here are style menu items. Congratulations, we built our first mega menu using Grow Fasting. Okay guys, uh, let's build another mega menu so I can show you other features mega menu has and what we can create. All right, let me to open header settings. Let's return to the mega menu settings. Here are our mega menu settings. I will click on add right here which lets us to create a new menu. The mega menu name will be mega menu 2 and I will select four columns option right here. I will keep the current column layouts for now. We have column layouts for the four equal columns. Guys, please give me a moment to add the content quickly. Perfect, so what did I do? I create the menu navigation in each column and activate heading styles for the top level of the menu. Now let me show you how the column layout work. But before I do this, let's first look at the preview page. Perfect, we have a second mega menu right here with the four equal columns. Let's return to our column settings and I choose five column option. And in the column layouts right here, I will select the second variant. So what column layouts do we have now? The first four columns will be set to 16.5%, while the final one will be set to the 33.3%. All right, guys, let me to add this placeholder text right here to the fifth column. Let's click on this preview to see the results. All right, here is our website. Do you see? We have four narrow columns right here and a fifth one containing the placeholder text that is wider than others, right? One more thing, let me show you how to activate the form in the column. Let's return to our mega menu settings and I will add our simple subscription form below the placeholder text. And right here, I will activate the form. And now we can select the form from here. I will select this simple subscription form. We can also create a new one by clicking on this create new button. Let's scroll down and set the margin for our subscription form. I will set the top margin to the 16 pixels and I will not change the bottom margin. All right, let's click on the preview button to see all our changes. Perfect, here's our subscription form. Guys, I want to make a note on one specific thing. This mega menu will appear only on the desktop version of the website. Let me to open the inspector. All right. I decrease the screen size to have a mobile view. I will open navigation. Guys, the mobile menu doesn't have any selected menu right here. All right, uh, let me to return to the header options. Let's come back to the header settings, mega menu settings, and I will click on the header right here. I will open the mobile menu settings and select the same menu we created for the desktop version of the website. All right, I will select this one. Now let me to click on the preview button to see the results. Here is our mobile header. Let's open navigation. Here are mega menu A and mega menu B menu items. If we try to click or hover over these menu items, the mega menu will not appear here. It will only appear on the desktop version of the website. This is design choice, guys, since the mega menu would be too vast and organized on a small screen, which wouldn't be user friendly. Our website visitors wouldn't have good experience. What do I recommend you to do is to build mobile menu separately from the primary menu. Think about your website from the mobile user perspective. Design mobile menu so it will be easy for mobile users to find information they need. And one more thing guys, if the mega menu has uh, images or call to action buttons on desktop view, you can easily display any content you want in the mobile menu with a rich text. We can also activate the HubSpot uh, form in the mobile menu. Let me to show you how. I will return to our header model settings. And if we scroll down right here, we can activate and add the form to the mobile menu. Let's do it. I will select the same form we used for the mega menu a moment ago. And I will disable social media and call to action button for now. All right, now let's apply all changes. And now let's see the result. I will click on the preview. All right, and now let's look at the preview. 
Perfect. Our subscription form looks nice and clean. I want to speak about one last thing today. The way the order of Mega Menu works. Let's return to the Mega Menu settings. Here are both of Mega Menu we created before. Do you remember how we wrapped our two menu items with the two different classes, Mega Menu 1 and Mega Menu 2? So, this Mega Menu A on the top use the Mega Menu 1 class, right? Let's change the order right here. I will move Mega Menu B to the top. That is going to make Mega Menu B the first menu in the order. All right, and now let's go to our preview website to see those changes. All right, guys, we can see that Mega Menu A item has a Mega Menu 2 right here. So guys, that is how easy it is to use GrowFast HubSpot Team Mega Menu. If you have any questions, go to my website, find the contact form and drop me a message. I will help you if you have had any challenges with your Mega Menu or HubSpot website. Your success is my mission.